All right, in this tutorial, you are going to build a hero section of a, a website, which it has a background image with a kind of fade out background color image with a hero tags and call to two call to action buttons. Basically, what we have here, we have a background image with a transparency color or kind of layer over it and call to uh, the hero tags of our sites and of course the two call to action buttons and now let's go build this with responsive site designer as we have a um, new brand empty project here I don't need this row I delete it from here so now uh, our selected 12 spans column selected column with 12 spans okay from the element panel we add a sub grid into the our column now inside the column we have subgrid columns and we add our elements here uh, let's we add our hero tags as a h1 and let's see we have a kind of hero tags as this and we align the text align center for this all right and we add our call to action buttons to each of these columns subgrid columns again from the element panel of course we have our text link we can have the hover here and we style it ourselves or one predefined button for this purpose of tutorial i'm using this button link from here okay we drag it to into each of this column a button and for this i apply float right from the design panel into uh, positions and float to right now we have two nice buttons here all right now we need um, to apply some margin from the top and right bottom and apply some styles to these two buttons first thing let's we apply uh, a style for this button i'll change the background color Oh, we don't need to change the background color for this and let's see remove the background color for the second button we apply remove the background color and uh, maybe add some border one pixel border and for this of course as well we need to add border to have a same style all right and now our text disappeared from here since had the white color and now give some other color to it let's say for now this color okay all right now for this let's go add our background color for i add background color to the column the main column all right let's we give a nice solid color for now that we can see our design okay now second part we apply margin we want some margin from the top that our text uh, push our text down here mm. all right we need something like one five seven pixel from the top or maybe from actually there's another way to do it but we can like set uh, max height or let's see we have it here from the main column let's see we have it 
uh, oh yeah minimum height let's say we put three um, 450 or something like that we can either play with the max height height and or with the margin or uh, margin top and margin but for this now we apply main height okay now we applied our background color and positioned our tags and let's see we have some margin button here so we can get some space from these two call to action buttons maybe let's you add 57 something like that all right now let's go add background image uh, from our we add background image to the row to main our main row here in our hero section okay let's say this is our hero section hero image or hero section hero background color hero VG okay as a selected row with the given class we add from our resources at uh, image of course you have to remember to optimize your image for the web through your graphic application okay apply and select now as you see we don't see anything here nothing happened here because our solid color here is covered our background image before we adjust this color here let me add some property to our background image itself we want from the top be the center and from the here also center okay then we don't want to be our image to repeat itself and as a size we want to cover to cover from the whole site whole section now let's adjust this color from the column we give some transparency to this column let's say zero as you see our background image color appears if we give some transparency to this color we will get something like let's say 75 or something like that then apply something darker color to it all right now add some style to our color not really white okay then maybe for our this buttons text we add some color here mm. okay I guess something like this okay and uh, what else okay let's be preview what we have it here of course you can uh, you can play around with all kind of style and given some different color background color and play with the transparency and style it your button as your desire or whatever color you would like to apply for this um, hero text itself okay let's see now we have what we have here as a preview it all now we have this white color around so what we need to do is the stretch to the left and right to the, the we get to 100 percent width of the browser okay what we need have to do here we select our the row and our max width none that will fix our problem here yep that's we have this for now and thank you for watching